Hey, I'm Jimmy Jackson, assistant manager at the A&F store at Fashion Valley Mall in San Diego. I just got to work. I'm on my way to the airport to catch a flight to Maui to hook up with legendary board shaper Jimmy Lewis. I can't wait to meet this guy. I'll see you there. Jimmy Lewis is a, is a world famous shape, shaper for definitely for the speed world as far as um, breaking records and making making boards that break speed records. And uh, we've chosen him to help us make, build boards. Um, super technical, super nice guy. So how did you get into starting with the whole shaping of the boards? When I first started developing interest in anything in the world um, was when the surfing craze was happening in Southern California. And I started making little models of surfboards with foam, fiberglass, and resin. Were you more into surfing or the shaping of the boards? Making surfboards. And then like, I think I first started surfing when I was in sixth grade, about a year later. In ninth grade, I made a belly board. I shaped it. Um, it was out of wood, though, mm -hmm. but I shaped it just like a surfboard and fiberglassed it. And then, uh, Later, let's see, in the in the late 60s, I think 1968, I made my first full-size surfboard. What's your kind of thing with windsurfing? Like, what are your accomplishments with the sport? But I got a reputation as making the best speed boards in the world. The best guys rode them, and they broke several national and world speed records. All with your boards? All with my boards. Really? Always on my boards. You were there for many years, basically, shaping like all the windsurfing boards, and you saw the sport from start pretty much to right. where it is at this point in exactly. time. Has anything come in? I mean, I know this new craze of kite surfing. I know yeah. you're kind of getting into mm -hmm. that scene right now. Mm -hmm. Has there been anyone who has the same influence as the guys that you met originally? Mainly this guy, Lou Wayneman, who yeah. I uh, was introduced to about a year and a half ago or so. So you and Lou have a lot of interaction as far as the creation of the board. Like, right. what kind of process go in making a board? Well, why don't you guys come up to my shop and we can, oh, can show you some of the materials and, and how we go about building one of the wakeboards cool. in the surfboard style, too. All right, on. All right, okay. let's go. All right. Come on in. Oh, nice. This place is awesome. Now this is uh, the laminating room where after the board is shaped we glass all the boards in here. There's a sanding room in the back here. There's a guy in there sanding right now. This is the routing room where uh, fin boxes are put in, inserts in the deck for foot straps and stuff. This is the painting room where we paint the boards. Nothing but painting goes on in here. Right here is the shaping room. That's where it all begins. Oh, cool. You shape the board first before you do anything else. So why don't we go in here and shape one? This is what we call a blank. It's this polyurethane foam. All right. And uh, it's got a wood stringer down the middle, and that's to keep the uh, blank from losing its rocker. Rocker is the curve of the board this way. Is this like regular, like, like pond or like a This, is, uh, this is um spruce wood. Spruce wood? Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty sturdy then, right? Yeah, it's strong, light wood. Uh -huh. I'm going to put my mask on. Let's just start doing this. Do I, uh, do I need one too? No. No, no very Just hold your breath. Okay. The first thing we do is I draw the outline on this board. So right here, I mean, you were marking 11 and a half inches from the center here right, that's on both the sides. Width, that's the width of the board. The, the, at the widest point. At the widest point. And right here, this is a foot back from the nose. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the tail. We This is a standard measurement of shapers around the world. Are all the templates like different between each shaper? Are they all kind of the same? Or? Well, yeah, they're real similar, but actually, if you give two shapers the same sets of templates exactly, their boards are going to look different anyway, depending right. on how they draw it out. So what's the story with like the lights on the side here? And I mean the room is like pretty much like a dark black. Well, when I'm shaping, I'm, I'm relying on shadows to oh. see the curve of the board. I'm not dealing with straight flat lines here. It's all curves. I raise the board up, you can see the shadows, how you can see the deck, yeah. the curve of the deck better, yeah. right? So if there's any imperfections, I can see it better rather than if I have this top light on. If I have the top light on, you can't see anything. Ah, yeah. Okay. So the bottom, see, now you can see the shape better. And as soon as I start shaping with my planer here, you're going to see it even better. Okay. OK, 
Okay, now the planer work is done, and that's what we call rough shaping right there. So this is the rough shape of the board, even though it's a lot closer than it was uh -huh. when we started with just a blank. But now I go into what we call fine shaping, which is done with the sure form again. Oh, sure form? Yeah, the okay. sure form. S, it's, well, oh, never mind how it's spelled. <laughs> <laughs> what we've got right now, we've got the bottom shape here, the bottom square, and the deck is slightly curved like this, right? right. Okay, now I'm going to turn this under. And I'm, oh, I'm going to shape that off a little bit here. So we've got a real even curve like that. So this part you're taking off is like yeah, this that's on the, right No, here. no. This is down here. Okay. This is the bottom. Okay. I'm at, this measurement here is how much I'm going to bring okay. this under here. Right. And then I'm going to do the deck by eye. <laughs> Done. Wow. So what I do is tomorrow I'm going to take it into this room over here. This is the fiberglass. So pull a layer of that out and you, you cut it around the shape of the board and then you mix up some resin, which is clear. Mm -hmm. Then you pour it on the board and spread the resin all around and lap the fiberglass real tight around it. After the board's fiberglass, I'm going to take it in that room there and put the fin box in mm -hmm. and the leash plug. And if it's a kite board, we put the inserts in and the windsurfer will inserts and deck box, whatever. After it's sanded, it'll look like just like the shape in there, only it's going to be all dull and real smooth fiberglass, yeah? Right. And then after that, we'll move it back in the laminating room, and I'll put a coat of a thin coat of resin on the outside on this side, and then we'll do the same thing on the deck. And then after that, we'll bring it back in here and we polish it, and then it's the board's finished. Awesome. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Let's meet you, Jimmy. Take care. Nice talking to you. All right. Take care, guys. <laughs>